For the last few hours, I've been silently bitching and suppressing my urges to grumble out loud and make another attempt to convince the others that we should just give up. I really wished for the damn chase to be over. Three long, sweaty, dirty days, almost without sleep. It was supposed to be a quick job. Not three damn days spent crawling through the jungle with another stupid bug hunt. I was personally sure we lost the damn bug, because I haven't seen any traces of it for at least a day. I want this to be over, I said silently to my mind. Come on, you stupid bug. Show yourself. Well, you know what they say. Be careful what you wish for. You might not like it when you get it. As usual, I was keeping myself at the back of our group. It's the safest place and also the most convenient spot for a support guy. And despite the naginata in my hands and shotgun slug over my shoulder, I was the designed support for a merc team after all. The worst place to be in the jungle is at the front as a point man. But being on the tail as last in the formation wasn't much better. You never know if someone tries to hit you from behind. So the tail and Charlie has to be especially careful and watch our backs. At that moment, the spot was the responsibility of Sanya, the Gundam. And she wasn't doing a very good job because the first warning we had were her terrified screams. I turned abruptly. I got my wish fulfilled after all. Our hunt finally turned into a battle because the damn bugger ate a run out of patience or strength and decided to go around and hit us from behind. The screaming Sonya was down on her ass. She was trying to grab her drop double barrel with the one hand while she was holding on for her life with the other one. Her screams were accompanied by a terrible creaking and popping sounds from her knee which was being crushed by a huge claw. A claw that was also trying to drag her into the thick bush where the rest of the damn bug was waiting. I immediately slashed the Naginata straight into the joint behind the claw. I didn't have enough strength to break it, but it must have hurt at least a bit because the Kitino's asshole released the crushed knee. Sonia finally grasped her huge double barbed gun and shot into the bush both barrels. You're not supposed to shoot at Ina's or gun one-handed. She probably dislocated her wrist and shoulder, but she was still screaming about her knee. I grabbed her by her stupid black rope, shook her, and growled her. Stop faking it. It's just a scratch. And then I heaved and pulled her to her feet. She backed up a little with an uncertain look on her face, and then she stared in disbelief at her barely scrapped knee sticking out of her tattered rope. She froze, but at least she stopped screaming. I thought I'll have to slap her face to break her out of it, but she finally started grabbing shells from a bandolier, loading her gun. The claw came out of the bush again, at an unpleasant and almost unnatural speed. I tried to fan it off with my naginata, but someone grabbed my shoulder and dragged me away just a split second before the second claw would take a piece of me. Stay back, Scratchy, Krog growled at me, and began to burn, and began to put on his game face. Luckily, he let go of me before his arm turned into a damn claw and scratched my shoulder. Suddenly, there was a loud explosion and cone of hot fire blasted so close it sicked hair on my hands. And then another. I wanted to turn around and tell stupid Gorilla that incendiary buckshot wouldn't help here. And then I realized what he was trying to do. The transformed croc hunched over in what was an unnatural stance for him, as he was more suited to moving on all fours, was holding one claw with his front paws, and all the teeth in his huge maw, and he had many, trying to chew it to pieces. While well, the other claw was buzzing trying to snap a Warcrog's head off. But the incendiary cone of Dragon's Breath shell vaporized the thick vegetation behind the claws and revealed that the buggy bastard in all his Katina's glory. And it was obvious that we were screwed. The buck looked like an unholy result of a drunken mating between a huge mutated shrimp 
and an armored mud excavator. The last time we saw that bugger, there were several craters in its shell from the gunboat cannon. It was missing a few legs. And most importantly, it was running away into the jungle as fast as its remaining legs could carry it. Like all Mercs band, we needed money. But not so bad that it would risk hunting a healthy giga shrimp deep into the jungle. But I figured that in this case it should be a piece of cake, with the bug being already held dead. We actually expected to find its carcass in a few hours and get pretty good money just for a short jungle stroll. But there were no craters now, just partially overgrown cracks in the shell. The bastard was able to keep away from us long enough to almost fuel the regenerate. Then it decided to switch the roles of hunters and prey. He had a claw clamped around Croc's necks so hard that he lost his grip. Then the buck started flicking him back and forth. Sonia had a gun down screamed an invocation of a holy hand grenade and fired her dinosaur again. Both barrels of the dinosaur gun at once, again. Rico put her on her ass, but both shots slid down the asshole's kid in his armor, leaving just deep gouges. The penetrator slugs that griller standing somewhere behind me was powering one after the other from his pump-up shotgun had a slightly better effect. It at least forced the bugger to retract the claws and let go of Croc. I grabbed the lazy, scaly asshole by his tail and dragged him away a bit. I didn't waste my stranglement because sour drops have even stronger regeneration than their werewolf cousins. He'll be back on all four legs in a moment by himself. Instead, I switched the Naginata to my left hand, fumbled for my lever shotgun, and began to pour round after round into the shrimp, hoping to at least to confuse it. I love my lever action. Unlike the pump-up, it can be shot with one hand, although it's a bit clumsy. Well, until you run out of shells, of course. And then, something exploded behind me, almost knocking me down on my knees, but I managed to keep up thanks to my Naginata. I dropped the shotgun, though. It was empty anyway. I turned around, made a few steps, and angry grabbed Griller by his shoulder. His damn shotgun was so hot for firing the dragon breath that it could have new shells he was lighting in. The resulting explosion destroyed the gun and tore Griller's face off. I shook him and yelled, Asshole! Stop squealing like a stuck pig! And fight like a man! I can't see! My face is burned! My eyes! Asshole! Bullshit! It's just a scratch. He wiped the blood from his scratched face, stared at the shattered shotgun, and then took his pyrex off his back. Barbecue! He howled, ignited the axe, and lunged at the shrimp. I didn't see Raghead anywhere, and Krog, the lazy, scaly bastard, was still underground, doing nothing. Oh. Because the damn claw had severed his spine, I could see crushed vertebra sticking out. Shit. I screwed up. I grabbed him by the mangled throat and pulled him away from the attacking claw at a last moment. Then I shook him and yelled, Stop this bullshit, you lazy lizard! It's just a stupid scratch! You hear me? A scratch? My head spun, and I almost went down on my ass. The fight went on in a rather chaotic fashion. From somewhere up in the jungle canopy, Raghead appeared, landed on the shrimp's back, and attempted to pierce its skin in his armor with his swords, only to be thrown away back in the bush. Sonia was firing her two large caliber revolvers, and her bullets were striking sparks from the shrimp's shell. The sparks were almost as bright as those spewed by Grill's Pyrex, but had only a limited effect. I expect that the axe will have the best chance to deal with that overgrown bugger. But then, its idiot owner failed to dodge the attacking claws in time and was almost ripped apart. 
Kevin Adam in Fort Rock finally getting back in the game. Griller would have been that. But thanks to Krug's berserker charge, I managed to get out to Griller in time. I scooped out all the bloody shit that fell out of his torn body. And probably a few handfuls of random jungle crap. Showed it back into his belly. And then I started to scream angrily. Scratch! Asshole! You asshole! It's just a scratch, so stop wailing around and do your job. After that, I wasn't really able to follow the rest of the action. Barely standing on my feet, almost blind from exhaustion. All I could do was to spout weak curses and wave my naginata. It looked like we were slowly winning. Giga Shrimp lost one claw, a pair of legs, and a feeler. A few more scratches on our side I had to handle, but I was already running on fumes. I started with curses and had to lean on an aginata to keep from falling down in the mud. And then, Griller finally managed to hit the bugger with Pyrex hard enough to penetrate the shell and, laughing madly, turned the fire up to maximum. The insectoid shattered and threw him off. My remaining claw was moving so slowly that Grok managed to bite into it and tear it off. The huge wound from the Pyrex was still burning. Holy court it be praised! We've got it! It's not gonna survive this! Sonia, that stupid bitch, was cheering wildly. Bullshit! I snapped purely on reflex. It's just a scratch! 